Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about telescoping summations, which are actually kind of fun. So, a telescoping sum is a sum that can be rewritten as a simple expression. And there's several of them. We'll see more later in the sem semester when we later videos when we cover proofs by induction. But right now, um, we're going to work on this example. We're going to take this sum from k equals 1 to n of 1 over k times k plus 1, and we're going to simplify this. And first, we're going to make note of an algebraic fact, and that is that 1 over k minus 1 over k plus 1, well, let's, so let's simplify this. You may not have a clue where I'm going yet, but it'll make sense here in a moment. So first I need common denominators. So for the first term, I'm going to multiply by k plus 1 over k plus 1. It's going to give me k plus 1 over k times k plus 1. And then I'm going to subtract for the second term, I'm going to multiply by k over k. because that gives like terms or like denominators. And now we have k plus one minus k over k times k plus one. We'll notice the plus k and the minus k cancel out and we're left with one over k times k plus one, which is exactly what we have here in our sum. And what that means is that I can rewrite this sum in this fashion. Now, notice here these parentheses are required because if we don't have those, then the summation would default to just being around this first part. And this would doubly not make sense because then we would also have k outside of the sum. And so you really need those parentheses to uh, incorporate all of this. Okay, so with this, I'm now going to expand. And I'm going to get k starts at 1, so this is... 1 over 1 minus 1 over 2, 1 plus 1. And then we're going to have 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3. Let's do one more. 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4. And now let's do the last two terms. So the next to last will be n minus 1. So this is going to be 1 over n minus 1 minus 1 over n minus 1 plus 1 is n. And then finally this last one, 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1. Okay, so I'm kind of running off the screen there. Hopefully you can see it. What's interesting now is to note that since all of these are plus signs, there's nothing to distribute. So we can ignore the parentheses. If it will let me. I'm just going to leave the rest up. We can ignore them. But notice we have a negative one half and a plus one half. Those cancel out. We have a negative one third and a plus one third, which cancels out. A negative one fourth, the next one will be a plus one fourth, that'll cancel. Similarly, there. Here we have a negative one over n plus one over n. And what we're left with when we're done is one minus one over n plus one. which if you notice, we can once again get like denominators, 
this is n plus 1 over n plus 1 minus 1 over n plus 1. Now we have like denominators. We can simplify. This is n plus 1 minus 1, or just n over n plus 1. So this entire sum, the summation up here that we started with has collapsed into a single simple formula. And that's what telescoping sums do. And they're pretty nice. And we'll see more examples of these later. But um, yeah, so what we can do is we can write the entire sum, no matter what n is, we can write it as a single simple formula.